Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Rupert here. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 32. And it says, The place of the scripture which he read was this, He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. Praise the Lord. He was reading Isaiah chapter 53 verses 7 and 8. Um, and he just couldn't understand how the Messiah uh, could be led to the slaughter. The Messiah was to save mankind. He had no conception about Saving mankind meant him dying on the cross. And that was a scripture he was pondering and meditating on. And uh, couldn't understand it. You know, he, his pride wasn't so puffed up that he refused any kind of help or, or, or understood that he needed help. A lot of this today, you know, we get all puffed up with pride and we say, oh, well, I could figure it out. Well, no, we, sometimes we need need someone to uh, help us out, to teach us. And that's why we have uh, teachers and preachers and evangelists to uh, help us understand Scripture. And... Uh, it's a great, you know, this this man was not some common man. The Ethiopian, Ethiopian eunuch was a man of great stature and, and great authority. But yet, even though he's a man of great authority in his homeland, he still understood that, and he, he still had a humble spirit where he would ask for help in understanding scriptures. And that's a, that's a beautiful man there. It's and, and Philip, Philip too, so obedient, so obedient to God, and uh, also the Ethiopian eunuch, so humble, and with that situation, it, it made it easy for Peter, for uh, Philip, to uh, teach about Jesus and him crucified, which uh, it was an occurrence that had just happened and uh, probably happened just before this Ethiopian eunuch arrived in Jerusalem. And he was able to tell him the good news and he went back to Ethiopia and started a church there and spread the good news. And all because of Philip being obedient. Thank you.